What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Mikey Pipes, with Peter Piper Plus One. Peter, we've reached the end. Oh no, just joking. This morning we are in Point Lookout, which is in Nassau County on Long Island. Customer has a ream condensing commie boiler. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's go see what's going on. And this box is off because at one point we were topping this little thing in the back. Okay. Because what the, the issue was having was we used the water, <laughs> it wouldn't click back to the heat. Understood. So the guy came and we were like, he's like, hey, listen, I got to keep your heat, it's on. But every time you use the water, take a shower, come down here, take that pipe, and hit that valve right back there. <laughs> Who installed this? Um... It was actually part where we closed on this house. They did it. Oh, it came with the house. It came with the house, as is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now you have no heat. Correct. And no error code. Correct. All right, grab the manual that I printed mm -hmm. in front of the truck. Last minute was working for a while, but... So you've been tapping on that three-way valve, I could say. Exactly. Yep. Which has the red and the blue wire. So now you have heat, but you have no hot water. So now I have hot water. But I mean, you have no hot water. Yeah, I I mean, have you have hot water, but you don't have any heat. Correct. <laughs> yep. Hmm. And it's that temperature. That's cold. And that's cold. And that's hot. And this would normally rest there. And they flush the system out like that, maybe three times. And that three-way <laughs> valve is all <laughs> the way in the back. I know, right? <laughs> wow. No access panel. Water Heating Service Contractor Center. This line is dedicated to REAM authorized service providers only. Your call may be monitored for training or quality purposes. Let's see if, uh, if we'll bang on this. Ready? Peter, yep. while we're on hold, there's identifying information. Mm -hmm. Heat exchanger. This is, it says it. This is a condensing heat exchanger. Mm -hmm. um, should we try tightening up these, <laughs> these screws right here? I don't know. It looks like someone has tried tightening them before, but let's see. Mm. Doesn't really budge, does it? Not really. It's a little. Yeah. A little tight. Bit. Yeah. Pretty tight. So there's our combustion chamber. Our three way valve is all the way back there. And I was explaining to the gentleman over at Ream, we have the actual the manual. See, I printed out the, the whole service manual here for this model. And on page 37, it talks about the three-way valve. It tell you, tells you what wires, the black, which is number 15, red is seven, blue is eight, which goes into this 16-pen uh, Romex connector, no Romex, Molex connector. But it'll tell you about voltages. Here, like we're talking about the pressure sensor, it gives us voltages there, DC input ground, five volts. Mm -hmm. But here it doesn't. It gives us error codes. But what's nice about this is that it does give us some instruction on removal of the three-way valve, which is on page 101. Very nice, illustrated. Uh, but apparently the three-way valve here, uh, which is back there, which has been smacked <laughs> one too many times with this pipe, <laughs> is the issue. Um, I was able to call Ream Tech Support. They're gonna overnight for an additional charge, the part directly to the homeowner, which is a nice touch. Uh, and hopefully we'll be back here shortly to put it in. Yep. All right, like magic. It's the next day, 22nd, November, two days before Turkey Day, and two days before Mikey Pipes deep fries his turkey on a live stream. All right, here's our new part. It goes on there. So, step number one, close gas valve. Check. 
Number four, remove the four screws holding the front cover. Check. <laughs> Step number three, turn off power. Check. Number four, disconnect electrical power from the combi boiler. Check. Place bucket under unit and rag under three-way valve to collect the residual water from the combi boiler. Okay, let's go get a bucket. All right, there's my bucket. There's the hose. Looks like the Death Box Incorporated primary loop manifold, right? Close both domestic hot water inlet and the auto feed inlet valves and heating valves. All right, so let's close this. Let's close that. Okay, auto feed. It's utilizing a pressure reducing valve, so that eliminates that. Drain water from the domestic hot water heating, the um, heating loop and domestic hot water loop. Disconnect all electrical connection to the circuit board. So then I gotta do all that. Okay. okay. My domestic hot water drain is open into a bucket, very little water. Now we're gonna disconnect all the electrical connection on the circuit board. That's that. Okay, let's do that. There's a lot of crazy steps here, so we're gonna skip a lot of it and get right to the, the guts of the video. All right, I started taking apart, I don't know why it's even asked me to do this, the silencer assembly to remove the fan assembly. And I'm going through it. Has, it's having to remove all the stuff on the left-hand side of the, of the machine just to get to the three-way valve. It makes no sense. So I removed this piece here, which, okay, maybe that's in the way, that bar that controls, that holds that control assembly. I took out the two screws that hold this mounting bracket. All I have to do is get to that three-way valve. All right, and I could probably take the basin wrench, take that nut out. I'm gonna take this pipe out just to get back there. And then I'm gonna take out a couple clips, but and it's held together with just this Molex connector. So I don't know what the hell is up with this, but or why it's having me do that. But we're gonna take this clip out. I'm gonna take that clip out. All right, this one went there. I gotta fight with this to get this out now. All right, you can see what I did, but there it is. She is no longer gonna, gonna be beaten with the stick. Literally, it's a stick. <laughs> There's the three-way valve. They don't give you any gaskets. They don't give you any lube. They don't give you anything except Ajita. Seriously, and what is this thing? What is this? It's sitting in water. What the f I have no idea what that is either. What is that? <sighs> oh, they smacked it in so many times. It's actually dented in. <laughs> but not really a lot of cocky in there. I want to take this apart. We'll be taking this apart later. Let's reassemble. All right. I have my new three-way valve in. Let's turn the power on. It's quite fascinating how my, very strikingly familiar to another brand that we work on. That whole heat exchanger here and it says condensing heat exchanger there too. Let's turn this on, but it is certified by Kitararumi. Kai Tarami. Kai Tarami? Okay, but I got my soapy water. I wanna know if there's any leaks on this heat exchanger because I'm just curious. Okay, let's see what it does. And it fires up. You think it's gonna leak? I'm gonna guess it doesn't. I don't see any leaks. You see any leaks here, buddy? Ladies and gentlemen, you see any leaks on this heat exchanger? I don't. I don't see any leaks on this heat exchanger. None whatsoever. But then again, maybe it's not in high fire. Let's put it into high fire, run some domestic hot water. Okay, turn on my domestic hot water.
Now she's running. Nope. Oh, look at this. Uh oh. Right there. Hard to see that bubble. There's a bubble right there. Oh. Oh man, you see it right there? Dead straight the dead center of the screen. See that bubble? There it is. Wow. And we have more forming. Crazy. Look at that. Let's give them a call. More bubbles will form. Look at that. Wow. You see those bubbles right there? Right at the light? We got a few there, but that's not attributed to that seal, but those over there are. And that means that if, let's see, how does it get its fresh air? How does it get its fresh air? It gets its fresh air, oh, it's right there. Oh, it's piped right into the heat exchanger. Look at that. There's our fresh air. Which one's fresh air? This one, this one's fresh air. Combustion air inlet, see that? And it looks like, oh, I can't see. But I think it's, no. Let me see, let me get my little ladder and see. Is it piped into this machine? No, it's terminated right there. It terminates. So any combustion gases that are leaking out of the heat exchanger, it's gonna use that and recycle it. Wow, where's this machine made? Oh, yep, say no more. There it is. Made in Korea. Oh. They're peddling, these Koreans peddling their garbage to us Americans. Hey, Reem, Noritz, are you listening to me? Why is the heat exchanger leaking? Let's give tech support a call. Um, I think it was installed in 2019. Um, so we were here yesterday. Um, we, we didn't install this machine, by the way, but customers ha has had no space heating, but, but they had domestic hot water for about a week. You know, their installing contractor uh, couldn't fix it. Another contract. And regardless, we were here yesterday and it um, sounded like the, uh, the three-way valve was bad. Um, especially since they've been tapping on it for the past couple of years <laughs> to get it to work, okay. but it finally gave way. But you guys sent, uh, you know, were kind enough to send the new uh, three-way valve. Uh, by the way, the manual, the service manual is, uh, is it overcomplicates the replacement of the three-way valve. But nonetheless, okay. I put the new three-way valve, three valve in and I'm just doing a call for domestic hot water and space heating. Um, and I didn't notice anything funny going around on the space heating side, but on the, on the domestic hot water side at full flow, you know, with a garden hose hooked up to my uh, domestic hot water outlet uh, flush valve, uh, I got a whiff of some. I got a whiff of some gas. So I, I'm um, I'm looking at your heat exchanger. And it looks very familiar, like the another brand that's also made in South Korea. And I'm I'm seeing a little bit of powder residue on the the right side, on the top of the heat exchanger, the top of the combustion chamber. So I just sprayed it down with some soapy water, and sure enough, she's bubbling. Oh wow! So the. the so now I'm looking at this. So if it's if it's leaking out combustion gases while it's running, and with the, with the cover on, it's also it's going to use that to recirculate, right? Recir you know, for combustion air. If it's if it's leaking right. inside the cabinet, right? Yep. Yeah. Right. Um, but I only got a whiff of it, you know, d during my uh, my call for for uh, domestic hot water, and I again I sprayed it down with some soapy water along the right side. You know those little tubes that go from the front to the back. Uh, right on top of that top plate, it looks like it's got five sixteen screws holding it on top of it. So um, that's where I sprayed, and, and she's leaking. Yeah. Is the piece on top? That's connected to like the to the exact that connected to the, uh, the 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 draft motor, right? That top piece, that hood. It's like the hood of the yeah. of the uh, combustion chamber of the heat exchanger. So that piece, you know, that the piece that holds on the the flame rods and the the heat exchanger um, high temperature limit sensor on the right, on the left side. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, that hood. Yeah. Correct? 
Yep. So let me see if I have I have I have the service manual that I printed because again I never worked on this machine before. But as soon as I took it apart, it, I, my guy, my guy, it looked quite familiar. <laughs> you know, I guess they all make the same stuff. So I got the service manual. Uh, let me see if I can identify what part it is if the heat exchanger is broken down on this. Let's see. There's a case part, a heat exchanger part, part two, but there's no picture. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at page 120, and my page is blank for heat exchanger part. But it would be... Um, like the burner head, burner get, burner head. I don't know. Yeah, let me see here. Burner assembly. There's just no picture for it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write these down. Let's see if I can find some. Yeah, see, it's that. Let's see. Because I have enough time that I can find it. Yeah, see, page 120 on the manual is blank. It's probably not a, it's probably not a replaceable part. Well, it's probably not a part you take parts on, but it would be here. Thing, sometimes it's a whole yeah, that's what it looks like to me. You know, because it's got a, it's got a rating plate on it, certified by Kai Tarami. That's the name of the manufacturer in 2017. Uh, I have a number here of 7960. You know, then you, I see the sight glass, and it looks I have a good flame in there. Do you know where the heater is purchased at? No, I do not. I can look that up here. There's no, no, no result found. Let me see which one is. Let me take a look at the venting outside. Looks like we have some separation. Let me make sure we're. We have proper vertical and horizontal separation outside. And uh, let's see. Yeah. So there is, I don't know, have to look at the manual, what the separation requirements are for ream. Yeah, see page 120 in the component diagram, chapter 7. My page 120 is blank. Place the heater. Yeah. Let me go back here. Let me see where the heater came from. That's number 8. Number 8 sits it on says, top of... Um, did the strip... Uh, is, MCN distributors. You, MCN? MCN? Yes, MCN is a distributor here. Ream bought them, actually. Uh, okay, good. Now, um, I know we can cover heat. I'm not sure, but we can cover that. Hey, I'm not sure if they have. We say that because, uh, well, I always say that on a comedy board. Sometimes you go back to this, what do you put first just to heat it? It is special. Rule. I'm not sure if they have. Yeah, I'm not sure either, but are, are you going to issue a warranty authorization for this? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you found this video very, very, very educational. I was shocked. I was blown away that we had a leak on the burner assembly between the burner assembly and the combustion chamber on this Ream Combi boiler made in Korea. Well, maybe that's a common denominator here, folks and ladies maybe that's a common denominator quality control is lacking obviously in South Korea but Reem was kind enough to authorize the warranty replacement of the entire unit so the serial number is now flagged for warranty replacement alright thank you so much for watching at least we gave him heat space heating and domestic hot water because they were shivering in their, in their skivvies. They were shivering.
smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe, share, comment in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, happy Gobble Gobble Day. Thanksgiving is less than two days away, two days away. I'm going to be live streaming my turkey bake. Turkey bake. My deep fried turkey. I'm going to deep fry a turkey. Like I do every year, I'm going to live stream that bad boy. So make sure you tune in on Turkey Day to Mikey Pipe, St. Mike Commands me. Until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe.